one over this distance as the first line's in. Second line follows suit. This is the anti-penultimate, and we're just about right. Green light. Malua is on the move. Race nine, the Greg Martley Autos. Ready. Off. St. Camino began well. Speed by Cornborn Gia. Classy Shot comes up on the outside. Goes to the lead. Classy Shot leads the way from Cornborn Gia. St. Camino. Then came Cornborn Baxter. Survived the Fury. Irrigation. And St. Maddox. Classy Shot leads by a good six lengths. On. Cornborn Gia. St. Camito. Cornborn Baxter. Survived the Fury. Irrigation. And St. Maddox. Classy Shot. It's in its own league. Classy Shot wins comfortably. Second. Well. I think Cronborn Gia just got the St. Camino at the end. Then came Cronborn Baxter. They'll follow next by, well, maybe Survive the Fury could have got fourth. It bounced in very late in the piece, too. It was a break back to Irrigation, St. Maddox. It's photos after the winner, Classy Shot. It was too good. The eight wins, 29 and 8, the trip. We can confirm the eights won this. But Cronborn Gia and St. Camino photoed on the line. And then, as I said, We've got a photo for fourth. So it will be 8-2, 8-2, two, eight, two, 1, and fourth number will come in as 7. So Cornborn Baxter, who was just slowing down late, couldn't hold on to its position. 8-2, 1, and 7. 8-2, 1, and 7. The interim numbers, race number 9. Yeah, by the Larry Dooley. That was very interesting. Five and a quarter, the margin between first and second. And I think it was half a head that came up as the margin between second and third. 12.89, the run home, and the sections will appear on the semaphore in a moment. So 